In 2023, I tried hundreds of Mac apps, while only 50 made it onto the channel this year. But do I still use all those apps? Not quite. So, here are the apps I've actually been obsessed with every single day in 2023. Plus, all the surprising features I've missed before. This is gonna be a fun one. Now, let's start with the best AI apps, because that's a category where I truly believe we've just seen the breakthroughs of the year, completely changing what we as everyday users can do on the Mac. I mean, just for example, because of AI, dealing with pixelated and low resolution photos isn't as big of a problem anymore because we can easily bump up the quality in seconds. And our first award-winning and completely free app, Upscale, brings exactly this to your Mac. Trust me, the results are gonna surprise you. I mean, this photo is pretty bad quality for now, but choose one of the six AI models and the way it works is that it predicts what additional pixels are needed to make the low resolution picture sharper and bigger. And it really is. I mean, there's so much more detail that just wasn't there before. Oh, you might have noticed, but my Wi-Fi was switched off the whole time. The point being, this all processes locally on your Mac and there's no need to upload your images to any sketchy server. You can download the app for free from the developer's website, plus it's open source. I mean, that's a true winner. But the one AI app that took the crown for me this year is hands down Mac GBT. And over the past few months, it has quietly gained some even more surprising features. The app basically bakes ChatGPT right into macOS, giving your Mac a major AI upgrade. Most people use the app to text with their ChatGPT right from the menu bar. And this alone is great, but what most people don't know is that there's way more to the app. And here's where it gets truly mind-blowing. Wow. I mean, just for starters, we can hit any set keyboard shortcut to type to ChatGPT in a floating text field and then directly copy its reply. Or we could also keep the Mac GPT sidebar fixed on the right so we can slide out the ChatGPT web app and all your past conversations anytime. But really, it's the inline feature that's the most amazing. It lets us type a trigger phrase and prompt in nearly any writing app on your Mac. And when we hit enter, ChatGPT will do the typing for us as if Apple has built it right into macOS. How cool is that? Nonetheless, it's not all perfect. The app has had a steep price increase over the year and is now $19.99 on the developer's website. But still, if you own a Mac and use ChatGPT, it has never been this easy to do so. At least for 2023. Now sure, while the coolest apps can be the ones that dramatically change the way we use our Mac, oftentimes the best apps are the ones that mean we don't have to. They quietly run in the background take a native Mac feature you already use and make it way better or more efficient. So, here are the best utility apps. Mackie is the absolute best clipboard manager for Mac. It sits in the menu bar and is very simple. Every single item you copy shows in its clipboard history, meaning text, images and even files. We can use keyboard shortcuts or simply click any item to recopy it and then paste it again. Mackie is open source and if you download it from the developer's website, so not from the app store, it's pay what you want. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend this one. And we all know that macOS is all about drag and drop. So just for example, you can quickly attach a file to a new email by dropping it onto the mail app or import a picture into photos by dropping it onto the photos app. But our winner Dropover takes this whole drag and drop concept to a whole new level. It's simple. Whenever we pick up a file, we can shake it and a tiny window pops up. We can then add as many files from as many different locations as we like and here they all stay until we choose an action. Simply move, copy or share the files, create an iCloud link, convert them, merge them into a single PDF and so much more. But plot twist, I hardly ever use this. What I do use all the time are the quick actions hidden under this lightning icon and those four are customizable. For me, that's the quickest way to share stuff with AirDrop, messages, mail 
or the dropover cloud which you can use to send files to other people basically like dropbox but without needing any subscription or account oh and on that note you can use dropover for free but if you want to use all its premium features it's like a single upfront one-off payment of 4.99 that's how it should be and we haven't even gotten to our third award-winning utility app yet so let's get this one done right away before we unveil one more exciting category be prepared to be amazed tech sniper lets us copy the uncopyable let's say i want to copy the nutritional values of this protein shake product photo and send it to my friend to show him how jacked i'm gonna be by summer wow well with tech sniper it's easier than ever we can hit command shift and two select the text just like when taking a screenshot and the nutritional values are instantly copied to my clipboard and ready to paste i use this all the time and it works with any text on your screen including handwritten one. Oh, and you can also scan any qr codes right on your mac However, it's not free, TechSniper costs $7.99 on the developer's website, so you'll have to decide for yourself if it's worth it. Which takes us neatly to our final and definitely most playful category, customization. But I'm still not a fan of pointless customization. My rule, it's got to look sleek and be functional. And I truly believe I found two apps that fit just perfectly into this category. Lockera Widgets is one of them. It's free and by free I mean zero ads and no in-app purchases. Plus 12 super customizable widgets we can stick onto the desktop. And trust me, these are the widgets done right. Simple, clean and they don't just show info like this calendar, storage or upcoming birthdays widget but can also be interactive like a fully functional calculator colorful sticky notes to jot down your passwords just kidding a checklist to quickly write down some to-dos and even a magic ball to let faith decide whether to leave work early today i have a feeling it always says yes and again we can download locker widgets for free from the app store what an amazing app however when compared to our next winner the widgets we've just seen feel like just another fun add-on because Menu bar X changes what we can do with the menu bar like never before. For starters, it lets us pin multiple web apps to the menu bar. And the more I've used them, the less I thought this is just another gimmick. It's actually a surprisingly good idea. I mean, just for example, we can pin a Google Maps app to quickly check any route or location, an Amazon app to track any orders, or simply Google News. But really, Menu Bar X is at its best when it interacts with your Mac. For instance, you can drag and drop files into your OneDrive account or attach them to a new email in a pinned Gmail app. Oh, and the app is free to download from the App Store, but if you want unlimited tabs, it's a one-time purchase of $4.99. Pretty amazing oh yeah and you can also use it to play a few iphone games but you know what beats a good game of flappy bird getting stuff for free and sure thing those are certainly the best free mac apps i could find this year and by free i mean no subscriptions and no in-app purchases all right i will see you there thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day